Hi guys, thanks for dropping back into Mega Bowls. Uh, we've actually just dropped into the Bowls Test Centre here in Bendigo. Uh, we're very fortunate to actually have Greg Sherman uh, here with us to show us around the centre. He's got a test table and he's very experienced in, uh, in the Bowls testing game. For those of you that don't know Greg and uh, Don used to own Drake's Pride. They've been testing and they've been developing bowls for a long time. From what I know, they actually had a lot to do with the development of bowls such as the Drake's Pride International. So look, I'm very chuffed. Um, Greg's going to show us around the centre. Um, you're going to learn a little bit about what, it, what is actually inside a bowl, how they're made, how they're tested, how they stamp them and alter them. And uh, so anyway, enjoy the, enjoy the footage. We'll, uh, we'll get around the centre and uh, you'll learn a lot about lawn bowls. Thanks. Yeah. Somewhere around there. Yep. Getting close-ish. Is it on top of it or not? Uh, outside edge. Yeah, it's outside about, edge it's about the... two inches to the, uh, to the left of it. So will that be different with different atmospheres and stuff? Cold or hotter, it'll move. Well, you have to watch the humidity in that. Yep. And it's looking a little bit... Okay. Yeah. Might have been uh, the apprentices delivered, yeah. I think. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's uh, matching height. Variations in it. Yep. They're pretty good. Okay. I don't know what this will do. This is a H plus. It's got a bit of bias. Yep. But with a bad delivery, that's not too bad. Okay. So just watching them. So yeah, that that now. Yeah, that's pretty. Failed strong. by a foot. Yeah, that's. Whereas I've run it down before and I know it passes. Okay. Now the narrower the bowl becomes, um, the more pronounced that is. Right. So, and so, so that's just purely because the, the wear on the synthetic is no, scraping no, the surface there? No, no. What I didn't show you very well, yep. I'm trying to find a bowl. And it's, uh, you've all got strong biases. Yep. Going to the next turn. Next XTL or something like that would probably finish over in the uh, towel over there. Oh, there you go. Yeah, but you can see that. That's that's really yeah. flat. Yeah. A little bit of turn at the end, but that's failed by right. Eight, so that, that's, inches. That's, that's that should be finishing there. there. Uh, that's the edge. Just roll him up. That, sorry. Yeah, he got his master bolt. No, no, I know, but it always finishes around that. Always finishes the last there. couple of days. So. Yep. So we're putting down with. So what do you do if they fail? As in, does it get to a point where you have to put a, you have to cut X's in them and get rid of them, or do you try and adjust them? Um, I've done that for a couple of sets. Yeah. 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 It gets to the point where you can't repair them. Yep. Well, there's two sets here somewhere. Yeah. See, that's turning now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah is that even, even that's a bit. It'll be interesting to see that set go down. If this bowl was illegal. Yep. It. And how much would that change the bias? Depends on the type of hole. <laughs> so you've, you've just got to match, you've got to match yeah. it on the table. Uh, uh, that should be. Take it out there, run right. it down there. And does that run it sort of like a couple, three thousand on here, two thousand on here? Good question, I don't know. We, we actually made this here, so all the vacuum lays that Nensalite use and I think um, England use. The way you've just got all the kids made here in Bendigo. You know McCulloch's? Yeah. Yeah, they're there. Yeah, they all do. Wow. Okay. And yep. uh, because the original ones used to have chucks that used to grab around the whole lot of the bowl, and you can't use them. Now, that, so. that there, right, that well, explains just an old, an old the, bowl. That explains the marks on it. That is in, that looks like it's close to machined off the way. Yeah. It's in all the terrain. Right. But people think, oh, you know, if I send my size four bowls in, what size did they come back? 
Yeah, so it doesn't make any difference. Yeah, it's just, 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 just that simple. Yeah, it's just that simple. Yeah. Okay. And then it goes through if we're cleaning them up over the polishing wheels and cutting compounds. And it goes to the engraving, the engraving machine. There's the latest World Bowl steam. Okay. So just on those. Oh, I'm sorry, is that, you still have to manually graph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And when you're, when you're redoing them. Yeah. Mean, so and they go there and you sit there and you paint them all up by hand. Yeah, we do a bit of paint in the shop, but it gets yeah. a bit tedious. Yeah. So how do you do your painting? Oh, a lot of the time we can sometimes use a glass. Oh um, yeah. Do you use um, oils or acrylic? Oh, we use, no, we use enamel. Enamel? Yeah. 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 We've always used oil, um, acrylics and they work just as well. Okay. Well, the, most of the, um, these fellas are all um, acrylics and what we do is you sit there and yeah, no, actually, no, the new stamps, no. they don't, yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, we used to do it, um, originally we did it, and we always did it in gold, with the old pens around, oh, and then we stopped doing it, because it was a yeah. pain in the ass a little bit, just delayed the process. I've and seen then, the gold ones, yeah, yeah. that looks alright. But now I do it, and I only do it for a, uh, an advertising side of it, so yeah. with the rings and everything on, and you see that, and people say, oh, you can put your old street put something about where you're at. Yeah, you know, well, I don't know, uh, probably you're not allowed to. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, you know, we do... You could put mega bowls on there. On you could bowl. do that for everybody. Yep, okay, so how do you go about actually repairing the bowl? As in, uh, so if it comes in with a big, like... Yeah, if, uh, just an example, in. if that's, and that's a, a, not a crack, but if that yeah. had to be filled, we wouldn't be able to fill that fully up, but we'd get some um, bowls of a similar colour, get the powder from it, um, put it, mix it with some resins, mm -hmm. overfill it, then grind it off. Yeah, put it over the polishing machines, and it comes back almost brand Fantastic. new. Fantastic, right? As close as we can match the colour we want. Yep. So you can reuse the powders. Yes, you can. So yes. Right. Yep. And yep. Uh, yep. you won't be able to see, but I've done a, quite a big repair on this bowl, and you won't even see where it is. Right. So you've repaired yeah, a big chunk out of that, it. and you yeah. can't even see. Yeah, they were in pretty poor condition. So okay. Cleaned up, they look pretty well, brand new. Yeah, right. Yeah. That, that's fantastic. And um, so bowls themselves, when they come out with speckles and so on, it's speckled all the way through. It is solid or colour all yeah. the way through. Okay, yes, yeah. yeah. And do you find their bowls like split in half very often? Very, very rarely. Very okay. rarely. Right. We've had a collection of two or three over 20 years. Have you really? Yeah. Good. Okay. So that's it. Very rare. Right, okay. So what's the actual bowl itself made out of? Melamine. The coloured bowls are now melamine. Yep. And it comes as a powder. Um, it's heated in a microwave situation. Yep. It comes like a dough. Yeah. And then it's moulded and turned to the specifications of the right. manufacturer. Okay, so the computer computer lading. Yeah, CNC laid, very yep. accurate. Um, yep. All manufacturers have the similar sort of products. So, yeah. Right, okay. So they'll come out exactly the same. Very well. Yeah, yep. run down the table. Run, all run down the table and... Uh, Yes, and they should all be spot on. Okay, very good. Um, there's new bowls out there. Um, they're coming out of like various countries. There might be a resin base. Yes. Um, how would they be different when it comes to quality control compared to a bowl that's made out of they, they won't be as good as um, the manufacturers that have been doing it for years, but we'll, yeah. we'll wait and see. Yeah. Um, the variables with it will be the heat and cold temperature variations. Yep. No one knows at this stage what a true resin bowl will do yeah. as opposed to the traditional bowl. Right. It may be okay, but we so, don't know. Yeah, so there can be swelling and yes, and changes. Yes, most definitely. Yes, the, yeah, your bowl changes. Yes, it right. does. Okay, it's okay. fantastic. Yes. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time. Pleasure. Pleasure. Yeah, you've been, you've been a really good host. Good. Um, if, if anybody's after some bowls testing, um, or they want some advice or, or help with any lawn bowls uh, repairing or servicing or bowling arms because Greg actually produces uh, bowling arms and sells them Australia wide. Um, please click on the links below, uh, subscribe. Um, if you follow those links, you can we'll shoot you through to uh, to Greg's uh, website and you can buy directly off him. Um, you know we want to support everybody that helps us with Thank the, you. the channel and uh, hope you enjoy the information. Uh, Mega Bowls is all about um, putting the information out there so people can be educated and uh, make informed decisions. So I hope you enjoy that. Thanks very much, Rick. Thanks, Dave. Awesome.